السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه الطيبين الطاهرين وأصحابه المكرمين المعزمين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والذين جاهدوا فينا لنهدينهم سبلنا وإن الله لمع المحسنين صدق الله العظيم اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد معدن الجود والكرم وآله الكرام وابنه الكريم وبارك وسلم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وأرنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا جتنابا We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He is our provider, protector, sustainer, creator. We send peace, salutations, blessings upon our most beloved Nabi, the last of the messengers, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. We send blessings Upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's entire household, his Ahl-i bayt al tahar his all the companions, his sahaba kiram and upon every single one who have died in the state of Iman, we make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all of us. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us opportunities to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us health, ease goodness in this dunya may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us maghfirah jannah in here after ameen ya rabbal alameen my beloved nabi prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam's beloved followers <coughs> ramadan is around the corner only few days ago inshallah rahman most likely Coming Monday or Tuesday, we are going to welcome the most beautiful month, month of Ramadan. <clears throat> Ramadan is not only the month of fasting. This is the month of blessings, month of mercy, month of tawbah, month of taqwa, month of tazkiyah, month of purification. This is the month of change. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all of us. With one purpose, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا A human being, because of his nature, several times he forgets his own purpose. Allah says, أَوَلَا يَذْكُرُ الْإِنسَانُ أَنَّا خَلَقْنَاهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَلَمْ يَبْقُ شَيَّا how come he forgets? He does not remember. We are the one who created him when he was nothing. When he was nothing. Do you really think? Do you assume that you come here, you will live your life, have children, have a beautiful life, and then you die and nobody is going to ask you? You won't be accountable. You won't be questioned. Do you think that we have created you with no reason? And do you think that you do not have to come back to us? But it's not like that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us with, with a purpose. Worships. Ibadah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has created us with, with purpose and as being human, we forget a lot. We forget a lot. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send us reminders. 
several times in our life. First reminder, when we come to this dunya, a person he calls azan in our ear, he says, Hayya ala salah, hayya ala falah. In the left ear he says, Qad qamati salah, qad qamati salah. First reminder. When we become a little older, salah becomes first upon us. We come to our masajid and mu'adhin reminds us every single day five times. Five times a day. He reminds us. But we are human. Because of our nature, we do forget. We do not forget to eat actually. We never forget to do our you know, other uh, daily affairs and matters. We never forget them. But shaitan is always there, you know. In the shaitan and in insani, nafs is there. And both of them, when they become together, they become stronger and then attack on us and then make us forget. They make us not to come to masjid. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always asks ask us to stay away from shaitan. Do not to be ikhwan shayateen friends or brothers of shaitan. Be ibad rahman People of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah reminds us. And Ramadan is one of the great reminders. Great reminders. It's, it comes to change our life. Many of us, we have already started uh, our preparation for Ramadan. Many of us. But different type of preparation. Different type of preparation. Many of us, we have started preparing for Ramadan in terms of food storage, groceries, meat, chickens, everything. Because it's 30 days. In iftar, we do need you know, a different uh, cuisine every day. So we have prepared for that. Many sisters, they have already prepared for the clothes, shopping. What we are going to wear every Friday, what we are going to wear on Lailat al-Qadr, what we are going to wear on uh, Eid. This is our preparation. But we do not know Ramadan is not the month of eating. This is the month of hunger. But we prepare food first. We think about that thing first. Of course, it is necessary. Iftar is also sunnah and it's beautiful sunnah. Suhoor is also sunnah. It's beautiful sunnah. We have to do that. But it should not be priority. Priority should be preparation for purification of our, our, our soul, our ruh. Tazkiyatun nafs. Preparation for Quran reading. Preparation to get taqwa. Preparation to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was the necessity and obligation. But we made it secondary. We think inshallah when Ramadan will come, we, that this will happen automatically. But for food and these things, we have to do it on a priority basis. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq and hidayah, but this is not the right way. This is not the right way. This is the question. Are we ready for Ramadan? Are we ready for Ramadan? Not in terms of, uh, you know, the other basis I recently mentioned. In terms of, you know, tazkiyah. In terms of taqwa. In terms of getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In terms of, you know, offering our daily prayers. Punctuality to come to the masjid. Are we ready for that? Have we planned already? We have to think upon this. And if we do not try that, then nobody is going to help. Allah says, وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا Those who will try to come to us, those who will try, juhd, hard work, working hard, you know, when they will try hard, to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah says with taqeed, la nahdi yanna. Lam is for taqeed, noon is for taqeed. Twice. If you work a little harder to get closer to us, Allah says, la nahdi yanna hum subulana. We will show you the path. We will help you. Definitely, indeed, undoubtedly, Allah is there to help us. But we have to show our preparation first. We have to make sure that inshallah, this Ramadan, we are not going to fast with our bodies only, inshallah. This Ramadan, we will get the purpose of fasting, which is taqwa, inshallah. 
we will get the tazkiyah, our soul will be purified. Inshallah, this is the basic purpose. And then we have to think, are we ready for Ramadan or not? Because when it comes to being ready for Ramadan, the major question everybody is asking to the masajid, imams, responsible community members, shura management, only one question. Are we going to have Tarawih? How we are going to have Tarawih? Are we going to have distance or not? Are you going to have 20 rakat or not? You know, these are the questions. Of course, people are worried. But at some point, it shows me, this is only my personal opinion, at some point it shows me that there is a lack of tawakkul in our life. Lack of faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we are ready to submit in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, complete submission, if we are ready, then these things are not the you know priority, these things are secondary. Of course, I totally understand with the precaution. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of you, all of us health, inshaAllah. May Allah protect all of us from all kind of calamities, disease, virus problems, inshaAllah. Ameen, Ya Rabbul Alameen. But when we are in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, with good intention to pray, to offer our daily prayers, to offer our Ramadan prayers, Qiyamul Layl, how come we think about the secondary thing? Priorities. Priorities is tawakkul ala Allah, faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, this is the quality of believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Anfal, second ayah, إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهِ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَدْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَىٰ رَبِّهِمْ يَدَوَكَّلُونَ This is the quality of believers. Mu'mineen, mutawakkileen. Allah himself, he mentions. Beautiful ayah. He says when believers, they hear the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When they come to do zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what happens? When believers, they hear the verses of Quran, zikr comes for anything. Salah is zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Masajid, we come and we do what we, whatever we read, it is the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Innam al mu'minun, truly believers are, when they hear the zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wajilat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this beautiful thing, their heart becomes stronger, enlightened actually. They get nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in their heart. And then second thing, وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ To whom when somebody recites the ayat, Quran, in front of them, زَادَتْهُمْ imana, The iman increases. Subhanallah. The iman increases. We have to think about this. What is the position of our iman? Is it stronger? Weaker? This is so sad. But this is the uh, you know, reality. We have to work on this. We have to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase our iman. Now how it will happen? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the true believers are, their heart gets light. It's enlightened their heart. When they hear the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when they hear the ayahs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Zadatum imana, their iman increases. Wa rabbihim yatabakkalun. And these are the people who always, always trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They always have tawakkul on Allah. They always have trust and faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make all of us such, you know, kind of believers. True believers, inshallah. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. So my brothers and sisters, Ramadan is around the corner. Have tawakkul on Allah. Faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Come to masajid. Because there is only one personality who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can protect us and when he wants to protect us, nobody can harm us. Qul lain yusibana Illa ma katab Allah. Another ayah in Surah Taghabun 
ما أصاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله Nobody can harm you Nobody can harm you Unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala If he wants If any musibah he has written Nobody can protect you then And whatever musibah Problem comes to you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says It's, it's written from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We have to protect ourselves We have to do precaution necessities But do not close the door of masajid for yourself do not stop coming to the masajid. Do not stop doing the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Please. We have already done this before and still we did not get shifa. It's time to come to masajid. It's time to come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then inshallah you will see the mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah. Ameen. Ya Rabbil Alameen. A very close friend of mine uh, this is something uh, shocked me actually when I heard this. Very close friend. He, he kept his father with him for, I think, I believe 14 or 15 months in Africa. Actually, he, his father visited him in Malawi. And he kept him there for 15 months. He said, no, I won't let you go to India because it's virus everywhere. So I want you to be protected, healed, you know. The son, he got virus, I think 10 months ago. And he went into the critical situation. But Alhamdulillah, he got Shifa. After these 15 months, father said, now please let me go to India. Now things are getting normal. It's getting better. Let me go, inshallah, I'll come back before Ramadan, inshallah. He went to Mumbai. On a second day, he got sick. And... He got positive and he passed away. Inna lillahi wa inna May Allah give him Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him maghfirah, inshaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant him nur in his grave, inshaAllah. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. What is the moral of this story? My friend said, my father, he never, he never used to stay in house. Even when it was on the peak, he used to go out on the street, masjid, he used to stay in the masjid. But when Allah wanted, what happened? He started saying, no, I have to go to India. He said, come on, wait a little bit, inshallah, after Ramadan. He said, no, I have to, I'll, I will be back before Ramadan, but let me go now. This happened just two or three days ago. My brothers, it means, Nobody can harm you if, if you want. But if Allah wants, nobody can protect you, of course. So you can be harmed only, you can reach, any problem can reach you only if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants. Have tawakkul ala Allah. Iman and faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My beloved Nabi Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, my beloved Nabi Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's beloved followers, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make dua. Allahumma laka aslamtu, wa bika amantu, وَعَلَيْكَ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَإِلَيْكَ أَنَبْدُ وَبِكَ خَاصَمْتُ اللَّهُمَّ أَعُوذُ بِعِزَّتِكَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتَ أَنْ تُضَلَّنِي أَنْتَ الْحَيُّ الَّذِي لَا تَمُوتُ وَالْجِنُّ وَالْإِنسُ يَمُوتُونَ This is mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim both. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to make dua Allahumma laka aslamtu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I believe in you I believe in you I have complete faith in you. I always have tawakkul on you. And this is the quality of believers. This is the quality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he is making dua. He is using these words in his dua. And we should always make dua. We should always make dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us tawakkul. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our iman stronger, inshaAllah, Rahman, Ameen. Because when we have that, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَوَحَسْبُ If you have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is sufficient for you. You do not need anyone else. So brothers, again, are we ready for Ramadan? Yes, inshaAllah. We are going to come to masjid, inshaAllah. 
of course. What are the arrangements will be, you will know, inshallah, in a couple of days. Uh, I, all, I want all of you to uh, note down icobnj.org. This is our website. Do not forget to you know, visit there and get all the information how we are going to arrange the you know, taraweeh, how it's going to happen. But inshallah, all this salah, as usual, inshallah, on time, we are going to have, inshallah, all the salah, including taraweeh, 20 raka'at, with some, you know, beautiful Quran reciters, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us tawfiq, that we do more blessings, we, we do more ibadah, more worships in the month of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of our efforts and worships. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, we have a WhatsApp group, uh, if you have not joined yet, you can ask uh, me or any of our volunteer brothers, uh, our Shura member, please do join that. Because we update Salah time, we always update on our, you know, Thursdays. So you should not miss any Salah, inshallah Rahman. Uh, most likely, uh, uh, coming Monday or Tuesday, we are going to welcome Ramadan. If you will be in the group or if you go to our website, you will get to know the information when moon is going to be sighted inshallah so just to get all the information and up updates from us it's better you join our group jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi 